Okay, um, six flight modes in APM with Futaba T7C. Uh, we've got uh, APM powered up, uh, the receiver powered up as well. Props are off. Uh, and I would disconnect the uh, speed controller signal cables, but I don't want to do the video with the unbearable beeping all the time. Uh, so we've got APM powered up, connected to mission planner that's uh, running here and showing me the radio status at the time, at this moment. Um, Futaba T7C powered up as well. Yeah, showing me the, uh, the current uh, PWM values. And finally, which is really useful for me, a sheet of paper with um, the expected PWM thresholds for the different flight modes. You know, I've got five boundaries here, six modes. Um, this was really useful. So first thing, uh, first, um, I expect everybody's already got this set up um, already. It's very, very simple. But um, channel five on switch E, which is the three position switch uh, up here. Um, very basic. Stand up there. Um, into setup. Do, 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 do. Into parameter. Down here. Channel 5 switch. E. Okay. Nothing else to set there. We only set anything else here at the moment. Now, as the uh, tutorial that I read uh, states, next thing is setting up uh, endpoint. Now, for me, that was, uh, that was fine reading it, but I didn't understand what it was doing. The key to all this was, um, yeah, there we go, into channel 5, was actually seeing the difference when I change these values in Mission Planner, um, see what I'm doing to the radio. Um, the values that work for me are up 43%, down 59%. Okay, what does that mean? 43%, um, you know, if I change that, you see it's just it's moving, it's shifting my uh, channel 5 further and further away from the center. Put that back to uh, 43. 43. The middle point um, gives me a PWM of 1521. I can't change that. And that was key to me um, in setting up the rest of it. And the other end, you know, the other position switch, where's that changing? And that's just moving me further away from the center again. So, so as I said, I had this set up at 43 and 59, and in the center, 1520. Um, moving these values, we're just shifting, we're shifting the uh, points. And the key to me was um, the center point is 1521 or 1520, you know, um, which leads me here. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely in this plan. So adjusting this 43 and 59% um, all the way back, I've got 1283. Okay, so 1280, um, that puts me in this band. And all the way forward, uh, 1847. Yeah, so that's um, yeah, way up at the end there. Let's set these, these three. And the next thing, um, is the actual, you know, P-mix 1 in the radio. Um, where we're going to go in P-mix 1. If I go up to this, we're going to set it up as a offset mix. Um, there are a lot of comments talking about uh, mixing channel 7, channel 5. Uh, it's not ne necessary. As master, we want offset. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to apply an offset to, to these values already set up um, when the switch is moved. So master, offset, uh, slave, channel 5, switch, A, this one. Perfect. Come on, the switches up here, plus to each other, uh, no problem. And then it just gives me a single value, uh, rate, minus 59. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, you can see now, PWM is 1847 now. Uh, minus 59, boom. Uh, 1650. So yeah, 1650, that's, that's pretty much here. And just moving, moving this about, you know, we're, we're just shifting 
uh, backwards and forwards in the in the PWM value. Um, I had that at minus 59, minus 59, 16.55. So yeah, with switch A uh, thrown, you know, I'm now bang in the centre of this band here, which is ideal. And you know, actually moving the switches, 13.80. Yep, that's uh, that's right here. Moving this one, boom, 11.42. Yeah, that's right down the end there. Um, so for me, really, the key was um, trying these values with a sheet of paper in front of me, moving the dials backwards and forwards, and uh, and jotting down on the paper, seeing really where I was. Then going into flight modes, um, I've got this set up. I'm going to go out of the configuration. Um, don't need to touch anything more now, everything's perfect. Um, so in my three, with this, with switch A up, I've got my three positions here. And I've got those three set as stabilised. You know, whenever this switch is up, I'm in manual. And when I throw the switch down, it's offsetting me one point into the, into the previous mode. So I've got loiter, Auto and return to launch. Um, and although it took me a couple of days to understand it, really it's uh, quite simple once you see it working.